Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create this drawing. I'm actually going to redo this drawing again so you guys can actually uh, learn how to draft it yourself. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draft out the outer edge of the drawing first. And if you notice, I have some lines down here on the sides. These little lines right here I use up here as well on the top and on the sides and on the bottom. Those are orientation lines for my ruler, which would allow me to actually draw this design quite a bit better and faster, especially if I'm going to be using uh, my paper uh, 3069 triangle. Again, I did this whole drawing using my 3069 triangle. Now, what I'm going to do now is also show you one more thing. Uh, we're going to be doing quite a few of these drawings, and I went ahead, let me see if I can find it here real quick. I went ahead and drafted up. A, a sheet. Uh, I traced this actually over from the drawing you see here below. I traced this uh, border sheet over there. Now we'll come back to this later and I'll show you how to actually do that and I'll maybe do a little video of me actually tracing this on here so you can see it. But this lets me have like a master where I don't have to draw this each time and every time. But again, keying on the, the couple key points is these three lines down here these three lines here, three lines up the top, and three lines there. And the reason I have those lines is they help me draw my orthographic and isometric projections much faster and what's called orthogonally, which is horizontally and vertically to the uh, degree that I need to. So, and you'll see this as we actually start drafting. So I'm going to put this here to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and lay out my um, piece of paper. And I'm just using some basic standard copy paper. If you don't have any standard copy paper, you need to get up to Walmart or Office Depot or wherever you go, Staples, and get you some. And again, I don't need much. I don't need much masking tape, just a little bit. And if you got regular clear tape, then I guess you can use that as well. I prefer using the masking tape. Uh, both have their benefits, and I can explain that at a later time. Okay, so taping this guy down. And we're going to do start from ground zero on drafting this up. I probably need to put a little more tape up here at the top. I'm just going to put it along this edge here. I'll hold it. You don't need to use a lot of tape. Tape's one of those things that sometimes less is better. So I'll put my wrench back in my pocket. And uh, let's get started. Uh, i got my pen. got my uh, self-made 306090. And let's start drafting up this drawing. Again, this is the drawing we're going to reproduce. Okay? And reproduce that drawing right here. Okay. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure a quarter of an inch off the edge. Now I use both sides of the ruler, which helps me a great deal. So again, off each side. And I'll flip this around. And I use all parts of the ruler. I know where I'm at. I just put me a line in there, a little dot. Come across here, quarter inch. Put a dot in there, okay? Over here on the sides, quarter inch. Come down here on the side, it's a little off there, quarter inch. And up here at the top, I need to stand up, kind of look at this a little bit better. I'm gonna have a drafting board, quarter inch up there, and a quarter inch. These two marks, since I don't have a uh, T-square or drafting machine, allow me to do that. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to come down here, and I usually start off pretty much within a quarter of an inch from the edge. So I'll be about from right here. I'll draw myself a heavy line, holding my fingers on my ruler. And guys, you know, a little ruler you get from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Michaels it will work just fine. Uh, and keep in mind, these are the three, uh, the ruler, the T-square, 30-60-90 triangle. I personally believe in the most powerful things that man has ever created. And the reason I say that is because every powerful thing up until about the mid-1970s um, was drawn typically by hand, and even in, after the 1970s was still drawn by hand until CAD, computer-aided drafting and design became uh, more pervasive, and especially since you know AutoCAD came out. All right, I'm gonna stand up so I can see this a little better. Again, I don't have my 
uh, drafting table where I could tilt this thing back. So I'm going to come across here like this. I'll put that guy in. Okay, so I got some nice heavy lines. Now I'm missing a spot over here, so I'll go ahead and put this down. Now, I'll continue this line from up here down. Notice how I'm, I pull the pencil this way. That keeps it from breaking. Now at the end, when we finish the drawing, I'll come back and extend these edges over here so that will be fine. Now, half of 11, if we use some very high math here, is five and a half. So I'm gonna put me a little line there, lightly, very lightly. Come over here to this edge, and I'll put me a line at, at here, lightly. Then I'll come over here, and a half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. Again, on here, I'm gonna go ahead and put me a line pretty heavy right there. Okay, same thing over here. I'll find four and a quarter on the paper. Come over here to the very edge. Ooh, that's four and a quarter right there. Put me a heavy mark. So that's half of the paper from this side. Now, since I do have these two marks in, I'm gonna go ahead and heavy up this line on the edge here, because I use these, these little registration marks to determine the four quadrants of the drawing. Okay, so we got that. Now, I'm gonna come over here a half, and a one full inch, and I'll make myself another registration mark. Come over to the opposite side here, make myself another registration mark. And I'm gonna do that around all four sides. Okay, come up here. I'm just gonna put that right on the one mark. Draw me a line there, draw me a line there. Okay, that's pretty good. Come over here, same thing again. Yeah, draw me a line. Draw me a line. Okay, come down here, I'll flip this around. Okay, draw me a line there. And I'll draw me a line here. Okay, so now that gives me my areas where I can you know, lay myself uh, a line across here in my perpendicular and it makes sure that I can use my 30-60-90 like this so I can draw my ISOs or whatever view I'm drawing. Okay, so got that. Now, got to draw a title block. So, I will come up here, flip this guy around, and I will come up, uh, let's see, right here is an inch. I'm going to come up to right here and I'm going to draw a line. Double check my measurements from my last draw. I may be doing this wrong. I don't know. Hold on a second here. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it wrong. Okay, let's come back here to this area. There we go. Get rid of that line. Glad I had this for reference. I forgot what I did. Come over here to three quarters. Draw me a line there. Good. Got it. Okay. Now I'm going to line these two guys up. This little dot I made and this little dash over here I made. I'm going to come up here to about the center of the page, go completely across the side here, and turn this around, line these two up here, okay, and I'll draw me a line there. Okay, so that's my title block. Um, now, let's get rid of him, and get rid of that little mark, whatever that was there. Okay, so now we've got our, our title block drawn. Now, what I'm going to do at this point in time is I'm going to draw some faint or very light lines. I'm going to start like right here. It's very lightly, very lightly draw these lines. Kind of see them right there? I don't draw them heavy because I got to come back and erase a lot of them. Remember that. It's best to always draw lightly before you create your stronger, uh, what we call object and dimension lines. Okay, so we draw that lightly. Y'all can see that one, that one, that one. Okay, so that's good. Now what we're doing is we're defining the four quadrants of our orthographic isometric projection. The quadrants are our top, our front, our right, and our ISO. So, again, draw myself lightly some lines for the quadrant. You can see, whoops, let me get this one here. Let me get myself lined back up again. I don't think I have a pencil all the way on there. There you go, now I got it. Okay, come over here. I'll draw these quadrants in right here. Gotta get those lined up. See again, see how these registration lines really help you out. Um, now, one thing that's kind of interesting here is on this one, try a little bit heavier. This point right here will be my anchor point for my isometric projection. So 
everything coming off of that drawing. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put that in real quick. Everything off this one part right here, this one line, will be my registration point. So that corner becomes my registration. Now I drew it way down here. I didn't need to go that far. But you can see how it's starting. Top, front, right, ISO. All right. Now our part, let's look at our part here. My part says it's four inches. Well, I don't look four inches to me. So I'm going to take my trusty stainless steel ruler and it says two inches. Well, the reason it says two inches is scale is one inch colon half inch. So little guy in China land or wherever part in the world land that's going to make this part for you, maybe it's here in the United States or it's Mexico or Japan or China or Europe somewhere or whatever. They look at this. They look at this one inch and they look at this colon and they look at half inch. So what it says is every inch that is drawn is divided by two because you got a half inch here. So instead of that being four inches, I know this seems pretty elementary, but I gotta go over it all the time. It's two inches, so it's half scale, so it's half of four. Hopefully that makes sense. So first line coming across here is four inches and let's see how far it goes down. Two and a half inches, well, what's half of two and a half inches? Let's see what I drew. Well, what I had drawn earlier and drafted was uh, about one and a quarter. Okay, we're gonna make it one and a quarter. So we'll come down here and we'll find one and a quarter inch, make myself a mark, there it is. Now I'm gonna come over here somewhere arbitrarily, I'm gonna make myself another mark at one and a quarter, because again, I don't have a drafting table, I don't have a drafting angle machine or any of that kind of junk, so I have any kind of stuff, that junk actually. So I have to just draft this in as best I can with what I've got. Hey, it's good enough for Pharaoh to build uh, the uh, pyramids, it's good enough for us to, to do it as well. All right, so, yeah, they didn't have a CAD system on, on the Egyptian uh, pyramids here. So I'll make my line there, come up here and make my line here. Now, what's gonna happen is this line is gonna extend all the way up here. This line will extend all the way up there because those become our extension lines. So what I'm gonna do is, I know my part's kind of rectangular, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a heavy line here because I know what I've got. Now the outer line of a part, the outer edge of a part that you're drawing is called the object line. So this dark line is the object line. Well, I know this is gonna be pretty solid all the way across. So this becomes my object line here. And so those are gonna be pretty heavy lines. Same thing up here at the top. It's gonna to be pretty heavy. So I'm gonna draw that in heavy as you can see right there. Perfect. Now I got a little spot here. Now I'm gonna take my ruler since I don't have an eraser shield. I'm just gonna erase this line out here. So that cleans that up. All right, good. Now we'll do the same thing over here. We'll clean that up. Got that cleaned up. Nice. Okay, now again, I said I was gonna draw an extension line. Well, the extension line is gonna come up here like that. Now, according to our drawing here, it says it's one and a half inches. So half of one and a half, it's pretty high math, right? It's three quarters of an inch. So come up here to three quarters of an inch, draw a line there, slide over here to this side, find our three quarters of an inch. Sometimes you gotta stand up and look at it or get over it, but anyway. So there it is, three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna draw him in. Now he's gonna be heavy because he's an object line. Right, there it is. I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna draw that in pretty heavy as well. All right, so we got those. And we gotta heavy these two up here. So I'll come back on this and I'll make that a heavier, darker line. Now, never do I draw my first draw, my first lines heavy. Because if I do that and I make a mistake, then it's hard to erase it and I gotta start all over. That's pretty annoying. All right, so there's our part. Now, we know we gotta come back in here. Got a few extraneous lines there. Oh, first of all, let's go ahead and transfer this across. Let's extend the bottom of this part uh, on the front side over to the right side. Extend that over. So that line, that line, that line. We know that the thickness of the part is three quarters of an inch. So we'll come over here and we'll draw some mark here, three quarters. Come up here at the top, draw some mark here at three quarters. Turn this guy around and we'll go ahead and draft him in. Not too bad. Yeah. All right. We're going to go ahead and make these object lines pretty heavy. Again, the object line is the outer edge of the part. 
So we'll put him in there. Good. And we'll come up here and put this guy up here in there. Good. Okay. Now, let's go back and look at our drawing. Now, we have to draw this notch in here. Now, let's, let's take some notes and put it over here. I'm going to put down 0.75 over to here. And I'm going to put 0.5 here because I know it's going to come down half an inch. And according to this, it says three quarters of an inch. Well, half of three quarters of an inch is uh, three eighths of an inch. So that would be 0.375. So I know that. Okay, so I got my notes. Oh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Got this over here at that. That looks pretty good. I think we got what we need. All right. It's always like uh, solving a mystery when you got to figure out what are the um, <clears throat> clues that we have here. So we're going to come over here three quarters of an inch, draw a mark there. Three quarters of an inch, draw a mark here. Now, if you can't see this line I'm going to draw here, we have to create what's called a hidden line. Notice this dashed line here. That's a hidden line. That means I'm seeing through the part, like if it's transparent, and I see this other edge kind of faintly inside the part. So I'm going to draw that. So again, <clears throat> now there are a lot of conventions on what are the thicknesses of the dash line and how many spacing is, how long is the dash, what's the spacing on the dash. For our purposes, we're just going to give a decent representation of what that is by just drawing some dash lines like that. Okay, so there's our dash line. Now again, we're going to transfer this down here. And again, I'm going to draw lightly a line there. See, it's lightly drawn in case we have to erase it. Now we know the height over here from down to there is 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, so let's do that. Let's come over here and find, turn this around so you can see it on. I'll start off with a 1 inch mark. I'm going to come down 3 eighths. Okay, 1 eighth, 2 eighths, which is a quarter, and then 3 eighths, which is this line right there. And I know the bottom of it's the same distance. It's 3 eighths again. So I'm going to come up to 1 eighth. It's 2 eighths, a quarter. Okay, so it's 3 eighths. It's right here. So I'm going to draw that in. All right, that's it. Okay, so the wise man would come down here and do the same thing again. Okay, there's a quarter and there's 3 eighths. I'll draw me a mark uh, right here. I'll come up here at the 1, come down to 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 3 eighths right there. Okay, draw me a mark there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to come from this point here, heavy, to this point here, heavy. Oops, get it all the way over to that edge. Right there. Okay, good. Got it to the edge. Come down here and do the same thing again. Same thing again over here. Okay, so working on this view, I get that view. Working on that view, I kind of get this view with this and helping out. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw up these edges and make them harder. Because again, they're the object line, they're the outer edge of the part. So we're going to come up here and draw this in. Like that. Like that. Okay, now let's draw this in here a little bit darker. Okay, so I got my top, my front, and my right. Let's clean this up a little bit. Get some of those lines out of there. Yeah. Turn this up here. I'm going to take some of this out right there. Get rid of my notes. Don't need those anymore. And get some of that out of here. Now, I got a little bump or something here underneath the paper, so it leaves a mark. I'll have to clean that up later and clean off my table. Take this off here. Take this off there. And... And there I have my three views that I need to look at on my part. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. It wasn't hard. In fact, it's something that people highly value, believe it or not. Now, we know that this is not four inches because it's half scale. We know it's two inches. So from this line here to there, I know it's going to be two as well. So what I'm going to do is, because I lightly drew that in, hopefully I didn't knock this thing too much out of whack, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make a mark at this corner here, just a little mark like that. All right. Now I'll take, using my registration lines that I drew on my border sheet, I'll come down here a little lower, right there, put my hand on this, take my awesome hand drawn, handmade 306090 triangle, and I'm going to put it on this, and I'm going to draw this line in a little darker. 
Okay, that's good. Now here's the miracle of 3690 to create a 3D view. Flip it over, that's all you gotta do. So again, making sure I'm on my registration lines. Yeah, I'm there. Okay, now if I had a T-square, it'd be a lot easier. If I had a drafting machine, like on a Hamilton drafting table, it'd be a whole lot easier. But I don't. I'm doing it like the uh, Egyptians might have done in the desert or the Chinese on the Great Wall of China. I'd be drafting this thing in. All right. That was a long time ago. So I'll take this now since I know it's 3D part. Now I'm going to draw this in lightly on this vertical edge here. In fact, I'm going to ease that over just a little bit because it's not in the right area. All right, there it is. You kind of faintly see that one line I eased over. So I'm just going to thin that out because I know it's there. Now, we know that the thickness of our part, again, is one and a half inches divided by 2.75. So our thickness in the 3D view, our isometric view, is going to be 0.75. So I'll just take my ruler and come up here, and I will find 0.75 right about, the book's in the way here. Here, I'll just move this down. Easier to see. 0.75, one quarter, two quarters, which is half inch, three quarters, which is 0.75. I'll make my mark. Okay. Again, using my registration marks that I drew in because I don't have a T-square. I'll take this guy here, put it upside down, and I shall draft up a vertical view like that. Okay. Let's get that height measured again. One and a quarter, right? Okay, so it's one and a quarter. So I'll find my quarter inch mark here. Make me a mark there, one and a quarter. Come over here, find one and a quarter there. Got it just almost spot on on that, didn't I? All right, one and a quarter here. Just make me a little dot. You know, in this case, I don't even really need to use my 36. I can just draw me a straight line here. Boom, done. It's already in there, cool beans, okay. Now, we've got to draw this line going that way. So let's figure out what one and a quarter is here. Oh, man, I'm spot on right there. Okay. So we'll come over here and we'll draw in that connecting line. The old saying goes, you know, you got to connect the dots. So we're connecting the dots here. There we go. Okay. Starting to look like a part to me. Starting to look 3D. All right. We'll take this guy here, line it up, take our 30, 60, 90, turn it upside down, and again, again, let me stress again, draw a light line, because we don't know how far that three quarters of an inch is. So I drew this light line, turn my ruler around here, I'll come over here and find three quarters of an inch, I'll make myself a mark, I've already got that mark, <laughs> connect the dots, guys, that's all we gotta do. Okay, so there she is. Now, on this one line that I drew lightly, now I'll come back and draw it heavy. There she is, all right, looking good. Okay, now, we know that this distance down here is three quarters of an inch, but we don't know how high it is. So what we're gonna do is we know that from here to there is three eighths of an inch, which is one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, right? So I'm gonna stand up so I can see this a little bit better. There she is. Make me a mark there. Now, I could make me another mark there, or I could use my 3069. I prefer to use my 3069 on this, because I don't want to have to figure that out. Take my old trusty 3069, flip it upside down, and we'll draw this way. Now look, we know this is there, so we're flipping back over to the pretty side, where it looks really real. And we'll draw it back this way. Okay, that's cool stuff. That's eh, a little rough. Let's go back and make sure we drew that right. I'm gonna erase that. I don't need this horizontal line here, so I'm taking that out as well. I'm gonna erase that. All right, let's try this one more time. Uno mas, as they say in Mexican or Spanish, whatever you wanna call it. So we'll draw this here back one more time. All right, that right, looks a little better. And I know I have this line over here too. So again, I'm gonna draw it faintly, not heavy, back that way. Awesome, it's awesome. Okay, now let's come down here three eighths of an inch. 
I'll put that mark right there, come back up here 3 eighths of an inch, and I'm going to draw it with my ruler. Here, flip that around, and we'll put that in. Yeah, looks pretty decent. Come over here, line up our 30, 60, 90 right there. Okay, and we'll draw in this edge over here. Sorry if I bump my hat on that. Okay. There it is, our draft line looks pretty good. All right, so we know that this distance from here to there is three quarters of an inch, all simple, simple stuff. We'll just come down here and make a mark at three quarters of an inch, draw us a line there. Notice how I draw it kind of vertically. Same thing on this vertex here, or vertice, what are we gonna call it? I'll draw it straight like that, and I'll come in and draft this guy in. All right, now we got a good looking part here. Okay, so I'm gonna just work upside down in this case. Make my object line heavier, come down here. Make my object line heavier. There it is. And I'm gonna double check that one. I'm not real clean on, or sure on that one. So I'm gonna reline this guy up. In fact, I'm gonna do it like this, I think. That line might have got off a little bit. Let's double check here. Yeah, I think it did actually. Oh, maybe it is right. It is off a little bit. I can see it now. Whoops. Move this over here. See what it looks like now. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right, clean this out clean this out. Now you can always go back over this and clean up your lines and do a lot more. We're going to go ahead and stop now because the video is getting kind of long and I'll do this high speed too so you'll see it faster. Alright, it's good to go.